Oh, great. <laughs> Hello, everyone who's watching Hugs for Harlem. Excited to be here with Mike and um, doing what we need to do to keep our community informed. So thank you for watching. All right. Tell everybody who you are, what you do, where you're from, things like that. Great. My name is Miosoti Munoz. I'm running for the 31st Senatorial District, which encompasses um, the area of 72nd Street, Upper West Side. And of course, that would include from Riverside Drive to Amsterdam, part of Morningside Heights, um, Manhattanville, and Washington Heights Inwood, parts of the Bronx, Mar uh, Marble Hill. And I just want to ask you all out there that is supporting this wonderful program to please help support us activists who are doing what we need to do to make sure that our community gets the resources that it needs. I've been in public service now for 19 years. Uh, I started out doing casework, social work, and understanding just how much need there was in the community to advocate for young people, teenagers, make sure that um, we needed what we need, what uh, needed to be done to make sure that our young people would not end up incarcerated as opposed to being in college and getting a, a career for themselves as opposed to allowing themselves to be food for the system, which is one of the um, key points that I hope we get to cover today, Mike. Yeah. I just um, came from the courts. I've been a longtime advocate, um, making sure that when someone gets in, in some kind of difficulty situation, they understand that there are resources available. Uh, I just had a young lady um, today who was um, being uh, hit with some charges that were unfair. Right now we have a situation where you have to, you, you, you get stopped, you get brought in, charges are placed, and of course if you don't have enough money to defend yourself, yeah, sure. or if you just don't understand what those charges mean, yeah. you find yourself being railroaded and railroaded and and of course we cannot allow that it's our future and we need to protect our young people i'll just give you a quick blurb of um what happened um let me tell you the phone back yes back hello oh. all right all right all right call me back call me back go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. okay great right. we had a situation where a young lady was um you know confused about um being able to sign out a, a laptop um, during a, a rally situation. She signed out the um, laptop. Um, actually, she signed out two laptops, one for her and one for her son, um, and one for her son's friend and one for her son, so that they can, you know, just play on the laptop while the um, function was taking place. When she went back to return this, um, the, 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 the two laptops, she was told that she didn't sign out for it correctly. So right there, they were going to try to bring grand larceny charges, which in this case would have meant sort of like when you go in and you rob a bank. So, she, uh, so they was accusing her of stealing the laptop. Yes, which was not the case. She, she obviously signed out for it. And um, of course, she wasn't given an opportunity to explain her situation. It was just straight into the system. Let's railroad you. Let's try to bring you up on charges. And um, this happens quite often. And in this case, charges of grand larceny could be compared to robbing a bank. So even though um, I'm not an attorney, I've been doing this for 19 years, just dedicating myself to being an advocate, letting people know what their rights are. We were very fortunate to get the support of Neighborhood Defenders, um, which is an our neighborhood and they provide legal representation and I want to make sure that when I get elected that we have programs funding just streamlining those fundings for legal programs such as neighborhood defenders who are doing a great job in making sure that our, our young people, our future, is able to have an opportunity um, to defend themselves um, within a system that can sometimes um, lead to destruction of the family, of our the neighborhoods, and our here, future. That's and, right. uh, Fifth Avenue. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm wondering why the city and the state can come up with that cash to keep this hospital open for the elderly and for the people that are sick. Uh, now, they shut down St. Vincent Hospital already on 14th Street. That's right. And now they're going to shut down North General Hospital on 125th Street and 5th Avenue. Now, a lot of people who live on 5th Avenue in that section of the area can't always get to Harlem Hospital. That's right. Or St. Luke's. So, you know, the people are outraged. 
I'm hearing Price this. I heard this uh, the other day. I was in the, uh, the Hope Center. They made an announcement that people are going to be losing their jobs. That's right. Uh, you know, they're going to be moving people from these hospitals. And uh, you know, that's an issue that needs to be addressed uh, because the people are scared. Mm, yes. They worry. Yes. They're frightened. That's right. And, um, you know, it's going out to the, to the mayor. It's going out to the governor. You know, to the president. We bail you know out I mean? Wall Street. We should be able yeah, to bail you know out. What I'm we we should be able to help these people now. That's right. I mean, man. they're pushing a lot of the black and Latino people out of Harlem, and what they're going to be doing is mm -hmm. really uh, taking these buildings like North General Hospital, who's been there for 30 years, and building condominiums for the rich. Now, this is what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. That's one issue. That's one issue. The second issue. That, that came to my attention yesterday mm -hmm. was in Brooklyn, uh, two young people got killed. Uh, no, two people got two young people got shot. Ten and eleven, ten and twelve years old got mm -hmm. shot, got wounded, and the shooter was a fifteen year old. Now here's another issue that we are talking about. Um, you know, the gun law. You know, some people are saying, uh, well, it's all right for you to have a gun and to protect yourself. Okay, yeah, if you got a house, you got some property, and somebody step on your house and your property, and they're trying to intrude and come in your house, yes. If you got a gun and it's licensed and they try to rob you, you have a right to defend yourself. That's right. That's one issue. But on the other issue is that there are a lot of legal guns, illegal, under the table, illegal. underground right. guns, who are filled, which is filtered through the inner city communities, and these young people don't know how to shoot, never been to a gun range, and they hidden innocent bystanders and people who don't get deserve to get shot. Hello? Yes. Yo, what's happening? What's Yo, that? what's good, boy? What's good, baby? What's going on, man? You know, <laughs> I definitely see you up there with Moon, yo. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, big shout out to her. You know, we always show love in the community, man. Yes, yeah. Yes. And, you know, I wanted to speak on what y'all was talking about. That's Definitely, right. I feel like everybody needs to be doing something That's to right. better the community. Better the like, community. Whether you're getting paid or not, because better. doing community service is being involved in your community, which is helping out the future, because that's, that's right. what it's all about, the youth. So we wanted to show love to everybody, like how we're doing a basketball mm -hmm. tournament next month yeah. up there in the park on 151st in Amsterdam. That's right. That's Congrats. Right. And you know, we definitely going to do way more things. We got a big barbecue July 4th for all the kids to come down. We're going to have free food, everything down in Riverbank okay. in the park. Right. Mm. So, you know, we got to keep doing that. Everybody got to show right. love to everybody else cause, because that's how we will progress as a community yeah yes well, and i love what y'all doing keep up the good work thank you mike green i see you moon yos i see you. yes <laughs> we're definitely gonna do way more we're gonna have the cameras this weekend and you already know jmo said what's up <laughs> all right yo moon, yo thank, <laughs> you, thank, thank you. you thank you thank you for what you're doing <laughs> and how you're getting involved and in making a better uh community and making change in where you live at that's right. That's right. And that's what it's about, man. Each one teach one, man. That's right. Reach out. You know, reach if out. everybody help one person, the world will be a better place. You're right about You're that. You're right about You're that. You're right about that. Mm -hmm. Y'all keep doing what y'all doing. You Thank know, I'm going to keep tuning in. Okay. Mike Green, I love Hugs for Harlem TV. Thank you. And keep doing your thing, baby. Thanks, brother. I appreciate Thanks. the love, Thanks. man. Uh, all, All right, right. Munoz, we're we'll right. back uptown. That's right. right. See you uptown yeah. on 150th. Right. That's right. <laughs> okay, between Amsterdam and Broadway. Yeah, you know that. We up there with you. That's, That's right. right. Thank That's you. Right. Thank All you. Right. We got to keep it. Yes.